Hopefully you watched that Halo Wars 2 experience video. That thing was crazy. It was awesome. I just want to talk about how it kind of came to be in my little experience there. Because it was, yeah, just, that was, that was sweet. So it's funny, I was in London, right? I'm at this Halo Wars 2 event and I was playing a campaign mission, which unfortunately I couldn't even record the full mission because of this. I got tapped on the shoulder. like, hey, you have, a, you have an interview. Uh, so you want to just finish up here and I was halfway through the mission I wasn't even done the mission so I didn't even wasn't even able to record all that so that was you can find it elsewhere it's just mission one I've gotten to the point where I don't question these things anymore when someone's like hey you have an interview or something like that I just go with it I don't freak out about it I don't stress what's gonna happen I just kind of go with the flow now like I've done these kind of events so many times now that it's, I don't know, like there's nothing that's really gonna surprise me. Sure enough, this surprised me. I mean, I didn't really pick up whether I was being interviewed or I was interviewing them. I, I was under the opinion that I was being interviewed like on camera uh, for, you know, just to get my thoughts about Halo Wars 2 or something for some advertisement thing. I was getting all mic'd up and Andy, uh, the PR guy at Xbox took my picture. He's like, oh yeah, I like it. this is looking good. And they, they put this really thin mic on me, which you know, should have, in hindsight, raised some questions. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want, you know what? No, maybe they're just, uh, it's like a little cool setup. I don't know, they just want to get me on camera. Like, yeah, like this is not, it's not that new to me. I started to sense something was off when I was just kind of let go down a hallway. It was just a normal hallway, but it was kind of long and dark and I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, I'm walking down, I look back and no one's coming with me. I'm like, okay, w interesting. Uh, what I thought of instantly was the E3 HoloLens experience where uh, like scientists put on HoloLens and they said, just walk down that hallway. And it's the same thing. And like, you're expecting something to happen. Sure enough, something does happen. And in this case, you know, I mean, there's no HoloLens on, so I'm not gonna see a waypoint. I'm just like, yeah, well, I'll just walk to the end and Turn the corner. I turn the corner and sure enough, I see what you see in the video. I see this setup. I'm like, okay, sweet. You know, I, I, I still didn't Participant. Three, one, imagine three, what was going to happen from there. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just gonna play a level, a mission, and they're just gonna record my reactions that I'm having fun with it or something, right? So other than those initial like audio cues, like, you know, game commence, whatever they say. Commence gameplay. I was just kind of sitting there quietly and awkwardly, just playing the game. The audio was kind of weird on it, so there wasn't like, there was only some audio. Like there wasn't music, there wasn't things like that. There was like only Warthog sounds, and there was no dialogue. Like I'm like, this is odd. Should I have a headset on right now? Like am I missing something? But I just kind of, you know, smiled and went with it. I was just happy to be in this cool looking room and this cool, cool lighting and just, you know, having fun. I figured I'd give them what I want by talking, because I thought this all, was all it was going to be. <laughs> so that's why I said things, like I'm like, Oh yeah, Jerome. Boom. Right, come on, Jerome. You do you, buddy. Sure enough, once I get that notion that I should start talking was when things started going down. The started with the screen kind of turning off. I'm like, oh yeah, it's always happening here. Whatever that is. And then when this when the like sliding window door thing closed beside me and I, I freak out a bit, it was actually startling. The whole thing shook. I don't know. It was like on some kind of thing, I don't know, but it was like, it shook. Like you can see it in the video, that wasn't fabricated. Like I, there was like a, a jolt. So I was actually legitimately kind of frightened there. Like it's like, whoa, you see a lot of other people were a little more scared than me. I, <laughs> but I was still like, it, it, it shocked me. Some, something's going down. Oh my. <laughs> and then, you know, you're waiting for whatever else to happen. The light is changing and then sure enough, the guy comes through the door. Oh dear. Apologies, sir, but it's a matter of urgency. We had to terminate your simulation. I didn't actually realize that I was talking to all those soldiers until later. I thought they were like pre-recorded because they were also at points talking over him. Uh, but now I, I realize in hindsight, that was probably just, you know, kind of get me confused and like try to like make me make hasty decisions and make it intense. But I was like, oh, maybe, you know, he messed up his lines or it wasn't quick enough or something and it made it made them mess, you know, it, it overlap what he was saying. You gotta choose the Marines, baby! Always forward, never back! The Marines never back down! Marines looking good, sir. But no, I honestly, it's funny, in the video, it seems obvious that they say Captain Hamill a few times, like, pretty early on. But I was so immersed that I did not pick up on that. I didn't notice they said Captain Hamill at all during that entire thing until I watched the video. I didn't even, I did not notice. You heard a lot about me, Captain Hamill, we got faith in you, sir. 
Marines, Captain. Their suicide deployment. Captain Hammond is a step back to ODST. Ready to drop in at the command, sir. Wilson, with vultures, Captain Hamill. Great to be serving under you, sir. Copy they that, Captain Hamill. I only picked up on it later on was when they, like, they responded to something, I like, to one of my choices. <laughs> right? Like, it was like, like, they were like, yeah, like, that's a good, good choice or something like that. Right? And I was like, oh. I don't know if that, that kind of sounded like it wasn't scripted. And obviously it really only kicked in at the very end when, when I walked out. But apparently only – it's like a 50-50 thing. I don't actually even know who else won. It looks like a lot of people lost with their choices because actually a few of them it looks like he was the, – the dude directed you one direction. And I I just ignored what his opinions were. And I just went what I what I liked more. For instance, as soon as ODSTs were available, I'm like, yo, bring the ODSTs and drop them. That's, ODSTs are sick. That's a new, I like them, let's go. And then another one, I was just like, I, I just decided to go with non on the ground units. Like one of my final options, I think it was like it had, cause it, the, the screens were really cool. You didn't really get as much of a sense of them in the video, but it was like, you know, I'm, I'm just presented with all this, all this information, uh, these cool symbols, like times three, times two of different vehicles and such. Yeah, I remember, like, pretty sure it was the final decision that the one on the left had a bunch of, like, ground soldiers, and the one on the right had just a lot heavier firepower. And I was like, yeah, like, that was, like, vehicles, like, we don't need to bring in more soldiers. We did ODSTs last time, let's just bring in the heavy firepower. Yeah, it was the right, it was the right call. <laughs> Apparently, I, I thought everybody could win, but no, didn't, apparently not. You know, he asked me to give this rousing speech, and uh, it's, it's, it's not a good speech. I, I, I want to see what everyone else did, because it sounded like some of the guys were just kind of like, we didn't really know what to do or they were kind of awkward about it. But I, you know, I, <laughs> I was just like, you guys got this. You know we're gonna win. We got this. I got no issues. You know you are all gonna destroy them. Copy they that, Captain Hamill. Rising words indeed, sir. Uh, had, had I no, expected to have said something like that, had a speech segment, I would have definitely done something a lot funnier. A lot of people suggested I should have done like the whole, uh, the whole hula hoop thing from Sergeant Johnson. All you greenhorns want to see the Covenant up close. It was kind of intimidating too, having, having this guy in here like looking at me and listening to my commands and like I'm just like, I watch really intently. Everyone else I watch seemed to be a lot more, for better or worse, you know what? Maybe I could have been more exciting for them or something, right? But I, I, I'm glad how I turned out because you guys got to get the whole experience. It's like, I don't know, like they were putting on a show for me. It was, a, it was an acting performance. I didn't want to say thing. I didn't, I didn't want to respond necessarily. I just wanted to like listen to what he had to say, watch my surroundings. I'm being a captain here, right? I can't interrupt. And I, I'm glad I took that route though. It was, it was, it was fun just being part of it. But maybe it's not as exciting to watch for you guys, but you got the whole experience there. I'm glad. I'm sure they appreciated it, not having me, not having me come in there. But the coolest part of it was the whole pulling the tube out and putting it into the other hole. It was just so, I'm like, what do I do? Where do I put this? I'm like, on the fly, like, I had one in my arm and I was putting it in, it went in so smooth, honestly. That was, like, one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. Like, it was underappreciated. It felt so cool putting that tube in. There's a joke there. Ah! It was so funny at the end there when I stand up and my, my mic pops out. <laughs> it was just dangling there and hanging. So I'm like, ah, I'm trying to take the assault rifle, but I gotta put this back in my pocket first. I'm sure. Take this up. They're going nowhere. We can have some target practice now. Step back, we got you. Sir, you I actually fully expected that I was to run out into, when he says to leave, to run out into actual something, like a firing range, or there was going to be a brute there or something. But sure enough, it was just nothing there. It was just uh, like one person who went like, you won. Uh, do you want to meet the the people you were just talking to? That's when it you know, obviously clicked that they were they were people. And so you, you pulled aside a curtain, I stepped down, and there was... Everybody in full costume standing there all just like applauding like like Captain Hamill. Or, yeah, it was awesome. And so I gave them like, how would you feel? They asked me a bunch of questions. And, you know, I, I, again, I don't think there were many winners. So they were like they were extra, extra cheery. And I uh, you know, gave a shout out to the ODST guy. He didn't really see much of his face, but I was like, you know, he was, he was full decked out. He had a full it's funny. He had a full uniform on despite not even really being seen. <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, like, I'm like props ODST, man. I saw ODST. You're the way to go. I knew I knew ODSTs were going to win. But following that, I had to lie to the other guys because I was I was one of the early ones. So I had to come back in to to Vern and Active Bunny Foo Foo, and I had to say they're like, "What'd you do?" And I was like, "Oh, you know, it was just a it was just an inter interview. You know, they asked you a bunch of questions about the game, like exactly what I thought going in. I just told them that's what it was, and they were they were sold on it until you know, you know one by one they had to come back. We were just kind of like, 
eyeing each other, like nodding as, as more and more people had to go. Overall, very cool experience. Super happy they got to be part of that campaign. I've seen it all over, all over the web. I'm happy to have been one of the winners because it was not guaranteed. I know my stuff. They know. They knew why I was chosen. I see why you've been chosen. Oh, finally, of course, afterwards, they sat me down in the chair and interviewed me. I was still so excited about the whole thing. I was like looking directly at the camera, like like how I do my vlogs. Like there's a person, they, it was kind of intimidating. There are two of them. They come in, he has a big camera rig, and he's asking me questions. And someone else with the clipboard's asking me questions. And so like I'm looking at kind of both of them, but mainly into the camera. And I have a feeling they, I'm like second guessing myself. I have a feeling they wanted me to look at her, but I was doing it right in the camera. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't even seen that footage anywhere. So I don't know where they're going to use it or when they're going to use it or if they're going to use it or if it's just an internal thing. I don't know. But I'm just like, yeah, I just told them I was excited and pretty much what I just told you, kind of, my <laughs> my whole my whole fun experience. So obviously huge props to, to Microsoft for putting that on and inviting me out to London to be one of those things. It's funny because I actually kind of knew something was going on. I didn't know. I just forgot about it, though, because <laughs> it was a, there was also two Halo Wars events. There was one in New York and one in... San Francisco and I was originally going to the New York one because it's just underneath me I'm in Toronto and then they're like Xbox Canada was like do you want to do London instead like, oh, of course obviously I want to do London. why would I not want to go to London again they're like yeah because this one's a little different it's a you know it's something else and so I just kind of forgot about it until that moment very cool I'm very happy with Halo Wars 2 so far it's I mean the blitz mode it, and I originally when I originally played it I, I didn't like it and it's growing on me I'm having some good games. So make sure you guys download the beta if you haven't already. It's on PC and Xbox. Yeah, links in the description if you wanna if you wanna grab that. Hopefully see you in matchmaking. It's funny, almost every game I've been playing, I've been getting tweets from the people we play against. Whether we win or lose, we're still getting tweets. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. I love running into you guys on the games and either stomping you or getting crushed. Either or, it, it depends who I'm with or you know how how things go. Final note: I'm currently working on the vlog of the trip to London. It's, it's pretty funny stuff. I'm really excited about it. It's one of my favorite videos I've made in a long time so far with Active Money Fufu and Vern and a lot of the other content creators just make appearances in it and we're traveling around London and just doing absurd things and it's fun. It's a really fun vlog. So youtube.com slash green skull, which is my personal channel. If you're into this kind of thing, me talking to the camera about various things and doing sketches and just absurd stuff. Like, I'm really happy over there. I'm having a lot of Having a lot of creative freedom. I'm doing fun stuff. So if you sub the Green Skull, expect some absurdity. Like there's there's already crazy stuff on there. It's only going to get worse or better. It really depends on your viewpoint. Farpo. 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 Wah. <laughs>